All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, the new whole set VGT turbos. This is an HE 300VG that's on the 2013-2014 and newer vehicles. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit different than uh, the 351s. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate how to actually use a 351 turbo with uh, HE 300VG. Now this is uh, an adapter that connects to the HE 300 and to the factory 6-7 wiring harness. It also connects to my uh, Banshee VTT controllers. So as you guys can see here, using my Banshee controller, the actuator works. And what we're going to do is pull this actuator off, swap this out, and then actually kind of a workaround to recalibrate the actuator to the turbo. Ideally, you guys would want to use the actual software like Insight or another coming software. And I know there's a couple aftermarket ones you can buy. Um, sadly, not everyone has one of them, so this is a way that you can still do it and it works. So, right now we're going to pretend this is broke. So, what you would do is disconnect it from the vehicle. And then remove it. Looking at the, the 351, as you can see the actual casings are actually different. That and the, the connector on the 300 is actually on the actuator, where the 351 has a pigtail. If you flip them over, they're exactly identical for the most part. The difference between actual casings as far as the, the actuators it's just an additional, it could be a drain or it can be the water inlet. So you can either tap off the water inlet here and use this, this one as the inlet. What this will do is it will actually cool down the actuator before it cools down the turbo, which will save the electronics. Or you can use this as your inlet and then actually have a second water output. Um, it's kind of up to you how you want to do it. Now, if you pull the actuators off the turbo and you get ready to actually reconnect these, um, if you have my controller, you're actually going to want to turn the truck on or turn a key on the ignition, um, let the truck be off, but all you're doing is actually powering all the electronics. And you're going to disconnect my controller. So what that'll do is it'll actually power the wiring harness, but it won't um, power the, uh, the controller. If you have a, a Cummings, what you're going to want to do, like the actual ECU, is actually disconnect the ECU. So go onto the side of the block and remove the connector and do the same thing. So just put the key in, turn the key on, power up everything without actually cranking on the motor. And what you're trying to do, as I'll show you with the, the one, try to zoom in on that. One. Sorry. Is the gear inside the 351 is actually gonna rotate about 360 degrees. And what it's doing is it's spinning around, it's going to an index position. So once it's there, you leave it connected, leave it powered on, slap it on a turbo. And when you get to the turbo, as you got the actual gear, what you're going to want to do is the turbo will be mounted in this position. You're going to turn it counterclockwise as far as it go. You should be able to do it with just your thumb. You don't have to get on there and crank on it. As soon as it gets all the way counterclockwise, the sliding wall should be all the way in, and that's your starting position for when you put everything back on. So 
So using the 300 BG, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my adapter, I'm going to connect it. Uh, 300 BG doesn't move as much as the 351, and it also depends where it's at in the alignment. So if it's far off, it's going to move a decent amount, but if it's right where it should be, you might just barely see it move. See like there, it barely did anything. But once you have that on, while keeping uh, everything connected, make sure that the wall's all the way in, so you turn it counterclockwise, and then you're just going to slide back on. Now once you get this back on, you're going to want to cycle the power. So for your, if you if you have a Cummings 24 valve common or whatever you have, or even a 6.7, all you're going to do is turn the key off. But mine says I'm going to just disconnect it from here, which then kills my power. Then you're going to reconnect your ECU or your controller if you have one of my Banshee controllers. And then you're going to reconnect it, reconnect the turbo. Index correctly. Um, I know this works. I used uh, I monitor the CAN bus. I actually can send the commands to actually calibrate it with my laptop, um, so I can actually re-index it using the same Insight or other software that companies would use. So I've done it this way multiple times. I used the software version to send direct uh, CAN bus to it, and uh, I've been able to monitor the feedback position from these turbos. And the feedback position from here versus the command I'm sending it correlates with each other, so I know doing it this way works just fine. Um, again, the best way would be to use the, the correct software, but worst case scenario, you can do this and you shouldn't have to worry about anything breaking. Um, I'm going to do the same thing again, but I want to demonstrate putting it back on uh, 351. So again, if you're going to swap, uh, swap your actuators, you're going to disconnect your ECU. You're going to make sure the gear is counterclockwise so the sliding wall is all the way in. You're going to take your actuator, connect it to the wiring harness. As this time, it didn't move as much as it did the first time because it was, it was pretty close to being indexed already. And then you're going to Reconnect your actuator.
you got this back on, then you gotta cycle your power. And what it is is the, uh, when you first connected it and it index itself, the controller is no longer gonna respond. So if you had everything connected and did that, and you try to send commands to it with my controller, it's not gonna move. So once you have the power off, then you're gonna reconnect the controller or reconnect your ECU. that easy. Uh, it shouldn't take you more than a few minutes to figure it out. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, my number's on a few different sites. You can call me if you can find it. Um, and then my adapters. I don't know anyone else is actually selling these. Um, but again, you can email me or they'll be up on eBay. You'll be able to find them. And uh, this will allow you to connect 200 VG um, either the complete turbo or just the actuator to the 6.7 or to uh, my controls. So yeah, thanks.